Welcome back to Spyro 3. In this episode, we start the last two episodes, last two worlds of Midnight Mountain. Starting off with Crystal Islands, which in the original, original version 1.0 had the same music track as Seashells, uh, she, Seashell Shore. So when I first played this version, this is my first time hearing the original soundtrack for this for, the, for a lot of stages. Okay, seashell short. Imagine that as a tongue twister. She sells seashells on she sell she left. Uh, fuck, I screwed that's that up. A, yeah, that's as bad as the original version of it too. Yeah. yeah. But you, you get the you get the yeah. you get the joke. Yeah, no, we do. <laughs> and for some also, reason, also, we have these because, you know, squid enemies from she seashell shore back in the water. It's really weird. They're not crystallized. Or I mean, anything. this could be their. I mean, this could be their vacation home. True. <laughs> and it's really weird that the um that the crystal enemies are flame. Because you would think that shards would work on them. Mm -hmm. Also, because we're, you know, involving crystals, I have to do my somber voice, so... <clears throat> crystals! <laughs> Could at least mention Crash 2. Oh. Crystals. Oh, oh. Crystals. Of course. Of course. Oh. And then the match goes out. <laughs> yeah. But the I like Vortex. the... I was watching the um, the Super Game Bros play through Crash 2. I honestly agree with Matt when yeah, he yeah. says that um, the original for that version of that cutscene looks a lot better because you already yeah. see because he's already cause it does it definitely does grim you see the grimace coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will say that it's like my first time the first time for me. That I've heard uh, Clancy Brown, because he was Cortex. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. I, really, I that is was, your I first time that ever one. hearing Clancy Brown? Yeah, because huh. I never, like, I never watched um, Superman, and I remember that he was Lex Luthor. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <sighs> and then I found out that you know he's Mr. Krabs, who's like one of my favorite characters. <laughs> so I'm like. Okay, oh, cool. that's who he is. I like the gem platform yeah. that that are used in the stage. They look yeah. really nice. They look. They even look nice yeah. in the original version too. They do. I find like the like reunited Re trilogy, the graphics like some of it's really nice. Like they really did a good job kind yeah, of bringing def Spiral's definitely. world to life. Like in, like it's all colorful. And, like it's it's so cool. I, de I definitely, that I agree. Really wish that we get that Spiral 4. Mm. Really wish we get that Spiral 4. Yeah, well, speaking of Spiral and that, today's actually Spiral's birthday. Gee, a one perfect day to, to, the... to announce this fourth game, Activision. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Activision's gonna... Do that. I it's mean, like, Jesus give, Christ, look, look, Activision. Just... Look how active. Look how. Uh, look how Activision is taking care of Crash right now. With that whole. Here's that, a here's a team based uh, brawler. Because it's, Crash definitely it's basically, it's is basically a battle royale oh, game. Yeah. It's basically Overwatch, but with Crash characters. <laughs> That's what my friend said. No. You know? <laughs> I like the designs for these <laughs> and the fantastic fruit. Yeah, they look they look doofy. Yeah, this one is yeah. Time, some of the by the way, Ooh. really. Yeah, I don't like the fact that this one is timed. Like I'm pretty sure. It, yeah, it's gone by now. But it's mm -hmm. like let's put a decent let's put a decent amount of collectibles around here. Hmm. Okay, getting back to crystals, we could also make some Steven Universe jokes because, you know, crystal gems. <laughs> no. Then, but then again, my friend Steven will probably kill me because he loves Steven Universe. We both agree, though, that Future sucked. I've never seen Future, so I can't even give, give an uh. opinion on that. 
the ending sucked. Let me just leave it at that. I think one, I think the latest episode I the the latest in the series episode I watched was the one where they randomly decided to go. You know what? Let's give Steven and Connie a fusion. Even though she's not a gem and he's half a gem. Okay, that's actually funny because when I was like visiting Steven as like part of my vacation, we talked about that. Like, we we're like, is that possible? It <laughs> makes just, like, zero sense. Uh, uh, yeah, but it you know, Stefani's actually pretty. Sense. I like Stefani. And I don't want to piss off the Steven Universe fan base because. Uh, and it's kind of funny how uh, that episode introduces the one random purse character in the entire show that Steven just straight up despises. You shouldn't anger a magician, Spyro. Mm -hmm. I just might decide to turn you into a blue hedgehog. Shouldn't anger a magician. <laughs> I never understood why they have him say blue hedgehog. It's like Spyro's not really competing with Sonic. I think I think it's Sony. Spyro's not competing with Sonic. I think it's like the developers holding a grudge against Sega. Maybe. Uh, it just honestly, I think it would. I think it would be be funnier if they did like a plumber or a bandicoot yeah 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 just why what did sonic ever do to you yeah it's just, it just makes zero sense <laughs> leave my leave my blue hedgehog alone he didn't do anything to you spiral if nothing he's been supportive of you <laughs> i mean hell i mean granted we also did have that one era of of up uh, in the 2000s, a platforming protagonist basically beating up on Spiral Crash and Sonic and Mario. Oh yeah, wasn't that for like a tie? Yeah. Um, the Tasmanian Tiger ad. Yeah, like, yeah for the first. Weren't game. they like all in hospital? Yeah, they were like I, all I in hospital more, beds. I think it was more Crash, Spiral, and Sonic though. Yeah, I think so. But it's like, eh. oh, I actually. I think, I think, um, because I know Disney Adventure, like, for those who don't know, Disney Adventure was like a magazine that Disney did, and it kicked so much ass. Yeah. Um, they did like this huge, they did like this huge issue on like upcoming games, and I think, I know one of them was like they did cover on the first hack game. Yeah. Even though that's a Nickelodeon game. The other one was. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, it, it, the the magazine was awesome because, like, they actually did, like, these interviews with, like, the characters. Yeah, they were fake and, interviews. Yeah, yeah, fi you know, they were fake interviews, but they were still entertaining to degree. And I remember, like, they interviewed Ty, and they had um, asked him the question, like, so what do you feel about, like, the other, you know, characters, like, you know, Mario, Sonic, Spyro, and Crash? And Ty straight up calls them a bunch of old geezers. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, wow. I love the first game, but it's like, I that era, I do not miss that era because a lot of it was really annoying. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. that era was just, it was re a really boring era because just the same old jokes over and over yep. and over. And over, over again. Come fly with me, up high with me. I forgot how the rest of the song this goes. This is the only stage in out that's not a um, speedway stage that requires you to um, that has the the, the dash um, the dash stars. Oh, nice! But there, I caught him. But there's one more thing That's I do nice. need to do before before I go into that door. And utterly ruined Bentley's career. Why are you gonna do that to Bentley? <laughs> Not my fault. Not my fault. It's the game devs. I'm not talking toys for Bob, I'm talking insomniac. Yeah, yeah. Insomniac, why are you gonna do that? 
Yeah, right here is a few extra gems and the key. I think there's also an egg here. I always like the uh, bottles with the TNT sticks on them. Like, just watch them explode it was like fun honestly i like i think my favorite usage of those was the one in scorch where there's just that big barrage big yeah. barrage and you just light one and it just sets off the train chain reaction yeah 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 that was that was honestly the best one mm -hmm. luckily since we were back at the very beginning okay I so we need... talked about we talked about like um go ahead Luckily, since I was at near, since that's near the very beginning, I do not need to go very far to get the chest, nor do I need to go very far to go to Bentley. Nice. The other side. Right, of um, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, um, okay, so we talked about like X Nine and like Sheila and Bentley, like in the like in the last episode. Um, I want to bring up the question: Which design for a reignited trilogy of the sidekicks did you like the best? Bentley, because he looked a, he looks a lot more Yeti like yeah. in the original. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, uh no, I mean uh, in the remake, in the remake, not the original. Yeah. I don't like Rick the remake of Sheila. Looks more like I don't Yeti. like the remake of Sheila. To be yeah, I, I get it that they wanted to make her kind of like a, an explorer type character, like with the outfit, but I prefer the original Sheila design. I don't mind the hair. I think it's like, it just feels weird. Anyway, welcome yeah. to the worst Bentley mission in the entire game. I hated this. I hate this more than boxing, a... and I hate boxing in the original, you know, so much. I hated this as a kid. Like this was like the this is just of my fucking bad. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, gee, how can you make whack-a-mole bad? You'll see. First, I need to go collect these gems. Yeah, collect the gems first and then whack some moles if you can. <laughs> I think... I think Bentley's appearance in the remake is more based off his appearance in from, Sp from Attack of the Rhinox. So I think he had this... Yeah. This type of design in Attack of the Rhinox. Yep. Yeah. Actually, should look that up. I am afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. All they need. I mean, it's not like we're going to be doing anything very fun. You look like just the yet to have So, okay, so to calm them down, we have to bonk them on the head. It's knocking them out. It's that seems them out. a little. Yeah, up, up, like the way he's like, uh, Rand Randini is saying like we need to calm them down. Like, that's a little excessive if you think about it. Yeah. <sighs> mm. So we gotta whack the moles and don't whack them. I hated these things. These things suck. What? And Ooh. yes, you also see that his, that his buddies are also doing this too. You have to deal with yeah. both the time limit and not hitting the hitting the magicians, because either one will cause you to lose. Yeah. Why did we need the time limit if we're just going to just have have the this? The, the damn uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I yeah I lost because I randomly hit a fucking guy. Yeah. Uh, I also forgot that they didn't really turn. They they made Bentley a bit dumber and um. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I forgot that that in, I get um, 
just whacking him out of like anger. Just wow. <laughs> it's like it's like this is what I this is what you get for like giving me like uh Anyway, what I was saying. I forgot that they made Bentley a bit dumber and dumber and coward in Hero's Tale. Yeah, I d did not like that. Because to me, Bentley was like Bentley was like the smarter one. Honestly. Yeah, and I like that. Yeah. But no, they have to give. Oh, him never like mind. The... No, he didn't. He didn't. But okay. Hero's Tale is actually okay. closer to how he looks in the remake, though. Hero's Tale is how he is how he looks. Is closer to that to this to his appearance here. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Which that's Fair not enough. bad. I'm, I'm right. glad that they take the take that design off him into consideration, sort of. Yeah, it's not a bad design right. for him. I like I like this design a lot more than just basically looking like a okay. bald bald peanut with legs. <laughs> that image is in my head now. Thank you very much. I mean, there's Mr. Peanut. Okay, and I was gonna say. Don't get me started on Mr. Peanut. I was gonna say, as you were going down the slide, I'm thinking like of that slide music from Mario 64. I should, I should have played that. I should have played that, and I feel stupid yeah. for not doing that. I, sh I feel stupid for not doing that because I, and I also should have done it in the in um, Haunted Tombs because I do add do add a tune that I think is probably gonna annoy a lot of people when I reach it. I mean, I mean, I mean, as you're editing this video together, you can still do it, you, you. Yeah, but you we can just cut us a <laughs> but we already mentioned that I didn't, so yeah, so yeah, I can't, so not, but yeah. Now True. we move on to True. to desert ruins, which is not a bad level, but it's just. It has a cameo mm -hmm. that I don't understand why. It has a cameo I don't understand why. I mean, it makes more sense than a blue hedgehog. Hello, you must be Spyro. Oh, and also, what, what I wanted to say, say I have no fucking idea where the NPCs go in, um, when they enter the portals. Because they don't go anywhere. They do not go anywhere, and it makes no sense. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Cause like, there's no spot that all the NPCs meet up at here. So, I mean, we they know just where they just one vanish. Goes. They just vanish. Yeah, we know where <laughs> one goes. Goes, but they don't. Sh but they don't um, mm -hmm. show up. So it's weird and lame. But mm -hmm. yeah. And by the way, yes, this is the exact same music track from the, um, from the, um, skateboarding segment of Enchanted Towers. I do not understand why they used that twice. Uh, it's not a bad track. Again, I think it's just, I think it's just a cut cost, maybe. True, it's not a bad song. A song, I like it. Oh, and no, it's, it's not. Uh, yeah. I wish it was on Spotify. This is one I wish it was on was on Spotify, because we do have mm. a set. Because Stuart Copeland did so, did um put some Spyro songs onto Spotify. I forgot that he did that. Yeah. Um. I've been listening to the uh, Insane Trilogy uh, soundtrack on uh, Spotify. Like the crash, yeah. Just, I love the I love the theme from Warped. That was like my favorite one. Yeah. Uh, we have the main theme from the first game, Artisan's Home, Dark Hollow, mm -hmm. Town Square, Toasty, Sunny Flight, Cliff Town, Ice Cavern, Night Flight, Magic Raptors, Wizard Peak, Blowhard, <laughs> Beastmakers, Treetop, Metalhead, Dreamweavers, Dark Passage, Lofty Castle. On the towers, Jocks, Ice Flight, North Cove, and Twilight Harbor. 
From two, we have Glimmer, Idle Spring, Sunny Beach, Fur Coast, Ocean Speedway, Crystal Glacier, Zephyr Meadow, Magma Cone, Metro Speedway, Cloud Temple, Metropolis, Canyon Speed, Canyon Speedway. And for three, they, they use Sunny Vila, Mushroom Speedway, Country Speedway, Evening Lake, Fireworks Factory, Charmed Ridge, Crystal Islands, Dynamite, and, and Dynamite. And then we also have a few random um, uh, songs too, in addition to the credits theme. Mm -hmm. Which it's not, I wish we would get more. I wish we'd get more Spiral songs. Like, like, give us another, yeah. give us an, another CD up on Spotify, Stuart, please. Yeah. Pretty please with sugar on top. <laughs> um, okay, I, th I think I asked this, like, before, but what's, like, a game that you'd love to see get, like, a remastered version? Well, originally, originally it was, uh, Spire series, but now I honestly... I, people are going to hate me for this. Donkey Kong 64. That would be actually really cool. Like a full, full blown remake of that. Like yeah. better graphics. The yeah. collectathon uh, handled a lot better. Definitely. Um, for me, I have like actually two, two games I'd love to see remake. So, and one is Parasite Eve. Like that's a series I'd love to see get a return. But sadly, uh, the was like my, um, top yeah. right's kind of dead. Yeah, I like. I mean, like, there's no stew that actually wants to pick it up. But the other game I'd like to see get a remake is Muppet Monster Adventure. I can see and that, it's, but, it's it, a but decent I can't really see someone doing that. Though it's a licensed game. I can see. I mean, I can see Disney deciding to do it, and. Henson still has like their Hanson Interactive apparently, so they could they could do something with that. Like I say, instead of like 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 getting like the new puppeteers to voice the characters, just reuse yeah. the old footage. Oh, like, honestly, it would be a great because. Uh, fin finish your thought. Finish your thought. I was gonna say because I honestly I honestly prefer no disrespect to Matt Vogel, the guy is incredibly talented at voicing some of the characters that he's taken over, but. I'd like to hear my Robin sound like Jerry Nelson. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, oh, wait, sorry, uh, sorry. He's not. He's not um, Robin. It's it's Peter Lynn's uh, Walter's puppeteer, and he also does Ernie from Sesame Street now. Which oh, he, interesting. He's decent as he's he's good as Ernie. But go ahead, go ahead. Honestly, I I wouldn't mind seeing a um, Muppet Monster Venture getting the same treatment that. Um, the upcoming with the upcoming Gax and Tomba HD um versions count are getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For some reason, we have Mouse Laura Croft. I don't understand <laughs> why. Yeah, it's Laura I, Croft. I, I mean, but it, has it, a mouse. It, it makes more sense than Moneybags starting to turn Spyro into a into a blue hedgehog, though, because Sony things. Yeah. Look at you. Showing yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The team after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day Tara. Yeah. There are no yeah. Okay, I get it. Not Tara. There is no um You might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg. There was no um <laughs> no big boom, Tara. You just ran a little bit. Yeah. Where the hell are you going? Yeah. It's like, yeah, that was the tune. And for some reason, Boy Mouse just basically just no clips out. It's weird. I mean, he just... I mean, he probably goes after Tara's... I don't know. I don't know. We're not magicians. Oh, uh, I forgot about, like, uh... These ladders, like with those. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's, it's, so, it's a nice little. Yeah. It's a nice little um, gimmick that they didn't really do much with. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's so satisfying just like smashing them after. It's like. Yep. 
Yeah, like I said, I I, I kind of want to see um see uh, limited run games do a um thing for um Muppet Monster Adventure. Race Mania would be fun too. Race Mania would also be fun. I've never actually played that one. Um, me and my brother played the heck out of that one as kids. And of course, he'd always beat me because he was better at racing games than me. But the day <laughs> I actually beat him, the day I actually managed to beat him in Muppet Race Mania, I tell you, 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 he was extremely pissed off. Like, he would not <laughs> look at me or speak to me for, like, the entire day. And then, like, it finally took, like, Mom to, like, get him to, like, stop acting like that because Mom's like, do you want me to take the PlayStation away? Because I will if you don't, you know, start talking to your brother again. <laughs> <laughs> <And> he just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah no i do that too it's like it's just a video game yeah yeah are um, you ready to play some crash that? kangaroo <laughs> oh boy yeah um, it's time for the last sheila mission because we utterly forgot about her she got four missions. Yeah. She gets four missions while everyone else get only three. And it's honestly not a bad thing. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's just 2D platforming and honestly, it's it, this is honestly one of my favorite missions in the entire game because it's simple as hell. It is simple as hell. Nice. All right. So yeah. speaking of games in that, I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna look, make fun. No. But speaking of games that, go ahead. Um, we played uh, Monopoly today at work. It was like a free day today, so Which we played. Which uh, version Monopoly did you play? We did the um, a uh, coworker brought their copy of the Super Mario Bros. movie Monopoly. Okay. And uh, that game is like it's it's fun because like you have to control Bowser too and. If you land on Bowser, or if Bowser lands on your property, like you're screwed. But um, so it's essentially it, it's Bowser Party from Mario Party Nine. Yeah, pretty much. But it was still fun. Like <laughs> I okay at, at at the start of the game, I was winning. Like I had like the most properties in that. But then I ended up bank getting like going bankrupt because Bowser kept <laughs> landing on my spaces, and I kept losing the like I kept losing the dice rolls that you needed to succeed in order to defeat Bowser. So I kept having to pay him coin after coin after coin after coin. <laughs> so then I look at my coworkers and I'm like, okay, if we're gonna play Monopoly next week, I'm bringing my Sonic Monopoly and I'm gonna kick your asses in that one. Trust me. <sighs> so I'm gonna bring Sonic Monopoly next week and I'm gonna have to tell you how that goes. I have, some, I have something to show you when, when we're done with this. I have something to show you when we're done with this. Oh god, what is it? Because it's honestly, it's it's part of the reason why I brought up um, Mario Party 9. Okay. <laughs> random swimming segment! Yay! Random swimming segments. <laughs> Hi, Hunter. Nice to see you again for the last <laughs> shit. You you do in the main game. Apparently there okay, when is. The heck go ahead, go ahead. Apparently there is a um a bugged ish um there is I mean uh there is a kind of a signpost for him in this world, which is really weird. Oh nice. Oh, like what was he say? to reference um, the fact, to reference him being captured. Yeah. So it's kind of weird that they that they yeah, have that. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, like because if you go here and he's captured, it's like, yeah, you good luck trying to find which your is, friend. Fool yeah, which something. you will not be. Yeah, which you you're not going to be able to see because he is free by the time you reach this level. Yeah, but I think like if you go back to a uh, level that he's in. There's a signpost that appears. Yeah, yeah, while he's captured. Or, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
Or if you basically didn't do the missions, missions, the signpost is there until the end of the world. And yeah, mm -hmm. one hit and you fail, which is really kind of shitty because they don't give you any uh, dodge, yeah. dodge tactics, which is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, okay. I do have some good news, by the way. Go ahead. Uh, friend of friend of mine is actually going to help me with my next cosplay costume. Oh, really? What is it? Um, she's going to actually help me create a outfit for, like, a Dr. Eggman outfit. Oh, nice. Like, modern Eggman. Because she, th she thinks, like, I could actually pull it off, like, the character really well. And so Honestly, she's going to do, yeah. um, she's going to actually do a cosplay of Sage to go with it. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. I made the mistake of lending her my copy of Sonic Frontiers and she's been playing it and she's just like, Sage is the best character. She loves how she's, she loves Sage. So she's I'm, like, oh, I'm great. A, I'm honestly hoping we're going to see more Sage. So I know they have her in Murder I, I Sonic the Hedgehog. I know I they have she's her in, in that Murder. One. Yeah. I still need to play that. Um, I do too. We need to do a, like a walkthrough for that, like a playthrough for that. I'm probably I'm probably gonna stream um, that some maybe after I do the Sonic Frontiers DLC. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Like they they're promising that it's gonna be like the best one. So I'm I'm hoping they deliver. Yeah. And this will tie me over until this will tie me over until Sonic Superstars, which which is just oh, like two I, weeks after that that and that releases. Two weeks away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was so telling Stephen, like, yeah, like, I think... Superstar? Go ahead. You go, you go. Go ahead. You go. No, go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead first. Okay. Speaking of superstars, so, do you think that they might pull the same thing that they did with General in uh, Advance 3 with Fishbowl Head? Oh, with the new character? Yeah. Fidget, I think his name is? Considering, considering the fact that... I think so. Considering the fact that they're going to be fighting with fighting alongside Eggman for the boss fights. Eggman and Knack. Because sure. I, I guess his story is... I guess his like the, that character's story is... Knack's the one that finds him and he repairs him. Oh, And really? then they okay. decide to like work together and then... Knack and Eggman cross cross paths and then they decide to work with Eggman. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that is half of Midnight Mountain. We're gonna be exploring more tombs in the next one because they put two tomb uh, ruin levels in the same world. Kind of similar to how both the um, <laughs> B levels in Crash 2 were done in the same um, thing. 